Tiger or Donkey or Princess just wandering around Ari Olds Park next month, but it has nothing to do with Halloween. It's all about an Oldsmar youth theater group. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd dropped by rehearsal as they get ready to perform Shrek Jr. the musical. The library is supposed to be a quiet place, but not on Monday nights in Oldsmar. That's when students from the Opal Theater turn up the volume. Youth theater, you're going to meet some characters. <laughs> but Shrek isn't talking about ogres or donkeys. He's referring to his supporting cast. It gives me a sense of creativity. The smiles you see on these faces wouldn't be possible without the woman behind the scenes they call Miss Suda, who saved the theater group back in 2019 after it went more than a year without a show. As a dance teacher with kids, I couldn't stand to see it stagnant anymore. And I knew there was a lot of great theater kids out there uh, that needed this platform. Miss Suda started putting together productions from some of your favorite childhood movies. My goal was to let every single child be able to be in theater. Newsflash ogre. For Loki Miller, playing one of his favorite animated villains was the opportunity of a nine-year-old's lifetime. Like on a scale of one to 10? Yes. I'll say maybe like a 10. Try to remember your parts. Miss Suda says what's really special is watching the students develop right before her eyes. These are skills that will stay with students for a lifetime. They learn how to be in front of public and how to be speak in front of a group. Miss Suda is amazing. She inspires me every day with how much hard work she puts into everything. I just love her so much. Shrek Jr. the Musical will be performed October 23rd at the Elizabeth Smith Amphitheater. Admission is free, while cheering on Oldsmar's youth is priceless. I love what I do, and I do what I love, and I hope it shows. In Oldsmar, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.